The Navy's newest vessel was commissioned today, and it bears the name of one of Hawaii's greatest statesmen. Our Bryce Moore stopped by for the ceremony and has details. Family and friends are here at Pearl Harbor to see the commissioning of the USS Daniel Inoue, and they aren't the only ones. Governor David Ige, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi, and others were here to honor the late senator and send well wishes to the crew of the ship that bears his name. The ship itself is a state-of-the-art military machine. With air, surface, and subsurface capabilities, the director of Naval History and Heritage Command tells me the USS Inoue is leaps and bounds ahead of its predecessors. Oh, these ships are awesome. Uh, the capability of these ships compared to what was here 80 years ago uh, is just mind-boggling. Representative Kai Kahele says the sailors on board will now embody the vision of one of Hawaii's greatest statesmen. His legacy will live on to the brave men and women who will serve their country on this vessel. I wish the officers and the crew of the USS Daniel Inouye good luck and Godspeed. Senator Inouye's son, Ken, spoke of how after Pearl Harbor, Japanese Americans were designated as enemy aliens, unfit to serve. But President Roosevelt changed that, allowing Japanese Americans to volunteer. A young Daniel Inouye was among those with the courage to enlist. Because they believed in America when America did not believe in them, and for that, they were willing to fight in order to fight. America is premised upon this more perfect union, always striving for that perfection, but never reaching it because they know it's impossible. They know it's a moving target. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.